What's going on, YouTube? Kill Gaither back with Fat Boy Model Shops. How you fellers doing tonight? Um, I'm back again with another completed build. Believe it or not, uh, I secretly jumped in on the Rat Rod community build that uh, Nicholas Anberge and uh, Patrick Hancock Heath, Heath is putting on. So uh, I contacted both of them and they said it would be okay. I, cho I told them what kit I was doing. And, uh, I just never really had a chance to put a vid a start video up, but they both know I was working on one. I actually told both of them I didn't know if I could paint this thing rusty or not, but I went ahead and built it anyways. I've never done a rat rod. I really love how it come out. I've really done a lot of things to this that I, I normally don't normally do to my models, uh, I really come all out of my shell with this one, and I really love how it turned out. I think it's the nicest thing I've built all year, believe it or not. I, I think it's that good, and uh, I really had a lot of fun with this. I'm going to be doing more rat rods in the future. Um, my buddy Rat Rod Matt, he said they're addicting. He says once you build one, he just can't stop building them. Man, he's right. I've got some more ideas in my mind of some stuff I'm going to do in the future. Maybe one of them might be for the years over. I don't know yet. But uh, enough rambling on to show you what kit I've done was the 29 uh, Roadster that uh, Ravel just put out. I know I just showed y'all a video of one I built, and uh, I really enjoyed that one as well. But uh, anyways, let me turn this camera around. I'll show you fellas what there I There you have it, fellas. That's my 2015... Rat Rod Community Build. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I really love this model. Uh, I really love how it come out. And uh, I'm going to get my stool here and show you fellas what I've done with it. Right off the bat, as you probably already know, I slammed it to the ground. I got her as low as you can get it without having a Z to frame. I've already got the transmission uh cover dragging the ground already. I don't know if you can see it under there or not, but uh, the, the little bolt that's molded in the uh, oil pan's touching the, touching the table, that's how low it is. So if you go any lower, you got the Z to frame. But uh, anyways, I don't know if y'all noticed, uh, I chopped the windshield down also. That's a first. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, that uh, clear styrene's not real easy to cut. But uh, what I done was I put a piece of tape. I, I I put a piece of tape over. I went ahead and glued the the one end the windshield frame. Let it dry it overnight. I put a piece of Tamiya tape over it and taped it down to the table. And I just started scribing on that tape line and until it finally broke through. And then I sanded the edge and cleaned it up a little bit. And I wasn't going to use the top of it. I decided, you know, well I'll just cut it down and glue it on the top. And uh, so that's what I've done. I added a little bit of rust effects to it. You know, like I said, you know, it's my first rat. So, you know, I'm learning. But uh, I, I wanted to include uh, Dr. Crinky in on this one because I really enjoy his uh, his uh, weathered builds and uh, rat builds so much. And uh, I'm really liking these tutorials he's doing on the 29s. And... Uh, that really put a spark under me to, to, to weather one out like this. So uh, I got some decals from last year, and I decided to incorporate them in on this build. So uh, right there, you can go ahead and see his uh, channel name up there at the top and uh, on the cowling. And then I decided I'd go with the, the uh, Ace of Spades on both doors. And then on the back, it says, uh, Eat My Rust and Feeling Lucky with a set of dice and then a cranky head. And then... I added a license, a customs plate, uh, a, a custom license plate that, uh, and then a, a photo etched uh, license plate bracket around it. And then these uh, tail lights, I actually uh, got from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's uh, these things here. The I uh, got them out of the jewelry department. They're four millimeters, and uh, get quite a few in a pack. So uh, underneath the car. Um, I, I detailed it out, but uh, when you drop it, there's just some stuff uh, you can't use, and that's why you see right there uh, where the connectors come out. 
I just had I just I just cut those off uh, right right when I finished it. Um, I'm going to weather back over that so you won't be able to tell it. But I originally had planned plan to put the mufflers and all that under it. But when you drop this thing, it just won't go. Out. It, it dawned on me. I got the axle glue right to the uh, the uh, frame rail, so you can't get the uh, can't get the pipes to clear. But and then I also had to cut a link out of each one of the shocks. But uh, other than that, you know, like I said, it's built right. You know, uh, it sits good. It looks mean. It, it you know, it really hugs the ground nice. Uh, in the interior here, I uh, I weathered it out pretty strong, and uh, my dad wanted me to go with some license plates in the bottom of the uh, the floorboard, so I went ahead and put. I, I got out about six and thought that'd be enough, and I bet I got about probably eighteen different license plates in there, and then I weathered over everything, and uh, of course I stowed this shifter I had to five window coupe, and. Uh, I really love that shifter. It's uh, it's 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 my nicest shifter I've ever seen in a in a in a street rod kit. You know, it's uh, it's got the cylinder head on the top of it. I just I just like it the best. And uh, so I got one of those and uh, I two ton the interior where I uh, weathered it out and uh, I decided on the uh, door handles to turn this one down and make it look like it's broke. And, uh, I added these here. These come from my model house. And, uh, I was, I taught my dad out of a set of them. And they're about eight bucks a set. You get four, I just decided to go with two. And, uh, they're real easy to work with. And, uh, I, I just think they set the, the car off, you know, that just gives it that rat rod look. Um, in the front, I went with just the hubcaps that, uh, that come in the kit. I didn't use the beauty rings on the front. And, uh, since I dropped the, uh, I dropped it in the front, how I dropped it, I just cut the spring off, off the, uh, axle. And that, that brought it right on down. And when you do that, you got to cut the shock absorbers down also. So, but that really, you know, it hugs the ground nice. It's got the look I want it to look. I wanted to have a few chrome things on it to make it look, you know. Any rat rider, they throw something new on there that's cheap and real affordable. And normally it's something like the, the headlight buckets or, you know, a shifter or something like that. So I wanted to leave a few things uh, unweathered and... Uh, you know, I was going to wire the motor, and I decided at the last minute I wanted to go ahead and get her finished up today. And uh, then that way I'd have her in the books for uh, for the month. You know, I, I wanted to make the deadline. And, uh, you know, I, I, I really enjoy how it turned out. You know, I think it looks really great. Uh, I like it, and... Uh, I know Nick Ambergy personally, and I think he'll like it also. I know his taste, and uh, I also know Heath personally also, and I think he'll like it uh, also. I also know his taste as well. I talk to these guys on a regular basis. So, But anyways, fellas, that's, uh, that's all I got to show you today. And uh, I just want to appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. And by the way, uh, I've reached uh, 500 subscribers, so... Uh, I'm real happy for that. Uh, I've worked hard to, to get to that status, and uh, I'm, I appreciate everybody that subscribes to me. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos and uh, everybody that comments. So that's all I can say today, fellas. Uh, nice talking with you. We'll talk to you later.